Hey guys, so some view for you, and here is some things I shop. Yeah, I said that I wouldn't do this anymore, but I was stopping around with Redstone, and well, this came out. Now this is my old one by one ratio things I can shop, that if you put one item, it will give you another. But let's say that we want an n by one ratio, so let's change that up. So here we have an n by one ratio things I can shop, and we can see that this one has a trade of 5 emeralds for 1 potato, and that seems like a great deal for me. So as you can see it grabs 5, pot five emeralds and gives us 1 potato. Now if you want to put more than 1 item at a time, we can do it, and it will grab 5 items, give us another, and reset the system, then continue one. And if you try to use another item to buy it, it will try to, it will go in the system, but it will give us give us back the items. Now, if we trade some more times, and the item the shop brings out of items to sell, it will it will turn off this red now and won't accept any more items. So here's the redstone, and as you can see it's a little big, but you have to keep in mind that there's a lot of things happening in, in the same system. But that's basically it for the redstone. I actually made a um, smaller design, so let me show you. And, and this one is one larger, but it's only 6 high rather than 7 high, that was the other one. Um, but the the flaw with this design is that it's it's not tileable, so I won't show how to make this one. But as you can see, it also works just fine. And there you go. Now let's go with the story. So you wanna start out start out where you want your shop to be. You can use a dropper facing down or uh, a chest, then put a lamp on the side of it, and put 4 blocks here, 4 hoppers, all, all of them facing the, this wall, but you can put this one facing down if you want, it doesn't really matter, and a dropper facing up, with another hopper facing to this hopper right here. Now, when when it has items here, we want them to go up, so it will trigger this redstone torch and unlock the software clock. Right here, you can put one stackable item. Actually, you can be any item you want. Then a block here and a redstone torch. Now, for giving the items, we're gonna put a torch here. Another one here in a stick piston facing up with a cauldron with water in it, then a comparator here. Now if you want you can put the items you're gonna sell right here, but let's do it later. Now for the for the items you're gonna buy, put a slab here, a comparator, going to a block with a redstone torch, a repeater, and another redstone, and a redstone dust. Now I'm ready to put an upside down slab, another upside down slab with a lever, and flick that up. Then put here a repeater and redstone dust, and that will make sure that it will. This comparator will only give an output when it's full of items. So put four unstackable items here and sixty three items that you're buying. So if you put one more, you can see that will it will give an pulse. Now to know 
to count the amount of items you you're given you're gonna put some um, redstone dust here in a dropper and every time you, the these items start to give some pulse it will give a pulse to this dropper and give and give sorry it will spend one item that is here to this dropper and it, you put the amount of items you wanna buy t in this dropper now to lock this hopper you're gonna use a um, block of redstone so if we power this dropper it will keep the items here but it, when we want this to reset we just have to power this piston and it will let the items go back to the dropper now to know when when there is no more items here or when it gives enough pulses so the, there is no more items here we're gonna put it will detect with, with this comparator and it will give an item here and we'll do the same thing right here to to go with to a restaurant torch and uh spence. now right here puts sorry um <laughs> sorry right here put a dropper in a redstone dust and put an one night in here and when this one now runs out of items it will shoot an item in this dropper that will power this comparator now we want this dropper to be this comparator to power this this piston as long as there's items here so we're gonna put one one block here another here with a resin dust and that will make sure that if there's items here it will hold the items in this dropper now put one item here then put two slabs one here and another here and two redstone dust now to know when there's no more items to to sell you're gonna put a redstone compared to here go into a torch and another torch so it will, if there's items to sell, it will flick this lamp and turn off these redstone items to go through through the hoppers. But if there is no more items to sell, it will lock the hoppers, so it won't allow any more items to go through the through them, and we turn off the redstone touch light. Sorry, <laughs> and. When it's processing the items, it will do the same thing. So it will lock the hopper so no more items can go through. And it will turn off the lights. Now we want to slow that down, the items coming through. So it will, will put torches here and it will slow a little bit. Now put a piston up, uh, sorry, a button that. A repeater here on vertex so it gives more uh, more time and it will all we will also want to put a western torch here to so if there's an, one item here it will still will keep this one off now that should be working so let's test it if we put five items You see that works just fine, and it can be spammable. So there we go. That's basically. It. Wait, no, it's not. And if you want to make it styleable, you have to put one lock here and one lever, so it will change the way this redstone dust is facing and won't interfere with this piston and if you want to make it and if you want to tile it just have to copy this this whole system in the, on the side of it and it should work just fine now that's basically it thanks for watching and i'll see you next time